Welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this video, we're going to be playing with the dodge and burn and the smudge tools and learning about some of the different options, getting a little bit more familiar with using these tools. And we're going to be working with an actual photograph this time. So I'm going to go to File and go to Open. You can choose any photograph. I'm just navigated to um, some pictures that I have here on my computer. And so yours will be different. But I'm going to select this image here. And one common thing that's going to happen when you go to open an image is sometimes it'll be a different color profile. This really doesn't matter at this point in time. You can either say keep or convert. This is just saying this has an sRGB color profile, um, and it's wondering if I'd like to use the GIMP built-in sRGB. And so I'm just going to say keep in this case. Um, sometimes you may want to convert, but don't worry about that for now. Uh, it's just how GIMP interprets the colors in the image. Uh, so this, uh, I added this, I think, in Darktable earlier. This is a kind of an edited photo. Um, but we'll play with the Smudge tool. If we left-click on Smudge, it looks like the shortcut is S to access this tool. And it's very, very small right now, so I may bring up the size by just using my scroll wheel or left-clicking and dragging up this size to get to something larger. And we can see what the Smudge will let us do if I zoom in here. It'll just sort of smudge and soften up these clouds quite a bit, actually. I can kind of mix... It's, you can almost imagine the ink of this picture is still wet, and so I'm just smudging it. I'm smudging these clouds. I'm just left-clicking and holding to create sort of this smudge. So you can, by hand, sort of come in here and create a, a different kind of effect. I suppose you could smudge out all of the edges to create sort of a little vignette, a little smudge vignetting or something around the image. Um, if ever we get to a point, again, that we don't really like what we've done, we can hit Control-Z on the keyboard to undo some of that. Uh, there's also some other options we can play with besides just size. Um, and we haven't really done much of these, but we have Aspect Ratio, which is going to be more of like we can make our brush size uh, more oval-like. If we're trying to fit it in a certain area, we can adjust the angle. So now we have this an oval here that's sort of at an angle. Uh, so we can play with those, and we've learned in the past we can just click this button here to reset these back to default if we don't like what we've done. Uh, we don't like the changes that we've made to the brush itself. And then uh, these are all similar. If you notice, if we went to the pencil tool or the brush tool, these all have the same options, size, angle, aspect ratio. Uh, so Smudge is going to have those same options, but it also has some different options down below. We have this Apply Jitter which will kind of randomly, it doesn't make a big difference in this case, but you, we can uh, we can turn this up. Anytime you're not sure what something does, I like to turn the amount way up and see if I notice a difference. So in this case, can you see what's happening? As I do this, it's creating these dots all over. It's kind of a jitter outside of even my brush. And so you turn that down, but the jitter just sort of applies it. Instead of doing it at one location, it sort of randomly applies it around. And again, this is the smudge tool, but different tools have jitter as well. We can apply it to, to different things. Um, let's look at the dodge and burn. So if we go, I'm going to control Z and undo some of that that I did there. And oh, I want to show you one other way too to bring an image in. Maybe we want to close this. We can click this X up here and just say uh, discard changes so we won't save any of that. We can also navigate to a location on our computer. I'll go to these same images and I'll just drag in um, this image here. We'll left click and drag it into GIMP. And again, we can either keep or convert. This time, I guess I'll say convert. And so we have this image, and we can do this dodge and burn. If we select the dodge and burn tool, it's shift D is the shortcut to access the dodge and burn tool. And what this does, burn kind of, it affects the colors of the image. So right now we have it set to, if we scroll down, we have it set to dodge. And, and so dodge is going to kind of lighten, lighten up the colors in a certain area. So maybe I could whiten my teeth with this in a way, but it's also getting my lips a little bit. And the more you click it, the more it, it kind of applies it on top of the existing changes. Burn is going to be the opposite. So if we select burn down here, burn kind of makes the colors more dark. Whatever's in that area, it makes it darker and more pronounced. I can make my ear darker. I can make my teeth darker. So it kind of just bring it kind of lightens up or darkens up the area. Look at that. You can like make look like I have I'm wearing makeup or something. <laughs> uh, so that's dodge and burn. And there's different options. Right now we did we did it adjusting the midtones. We could do the highlights, which is gonna kind of darken anything part that has highlights. I probably should have done the teeth. Let me control Z. 
I could probably do teeth a little bit more realistically with doing the highlights. And if I adjust the size of my brush, I could probably achieve some sort of a, oh, and then I need to change it to uh, dodge instead of burn. So we'll do dodge here. So it's gonna lighten my teeth a little bit, but it keeps the colors. So I kind of keep some of the natural looking colors of my teeth, but it kind of whitens it a little bit in there too. So I don't know, that's super not realistic looking, but um, this is probably not the tool you would use for teeth enhancement anyway. Or eyes, I can lighten up the way my eyes are appearing here if I want to. So anyway, that's dodge and burn. Um, and yeah, that's really what we're gonna cover today. So play with smudge, play with dodge and burn, but just kind of realize everything we've looked at so far, the eraser, the brush, the pencil, dodge, burn, the settings are all very similar that they have. It's all these brush settings. And then down below, it kind of has some specific settings, more specific to that tool that we're using. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and play with those. And in the next video, we'll look at some more tools and continue learning about GIMP.